Hi everybody, welcome to the chalk class. Hope you're all having a great summer. Um, let's get started. You have in your kit a set of chalks. They look like this. You can lay them all out. Uh, you need to have an eraser. It doesn't, any kind of eraser from home will be fine. Here's mine. Then you need, I've got sanding paper in case I wanna make my, in case I wanted to take the chalk and make a finer point. Okay, not necessary though, you don't have to do it for, for what we're doing today. I have a rag, a couple rags that I can wipe my fingers with because the chalk gets really messy and you should be careful with your clothing. Maybe you need to put a little smock on, okay, because the chalk gets everywhere. I've got a blending stick. Sorry, mine's so messy. Um, you you can use your fingers. Mostly, most artists just use their fingers, or you can use Q-tips. Um, but today, I'm just going to use fingers and my blending stick. That's why you need your little cloth because you you're going to be wanting to wash wipe your cloth. Also, you probably need some scratch paper to lay on top of your of your picture so you can rest your arm so you don't smear what you've already done. I always work top to bottom so I don't smear. Once that's done, I don't go back and touch it. Okay, so let's, let's now also in your kit, you have a sketch that I sketched for you that you could actually practice your chalk on if you'd like. Okay. Normally I sketch in pencil, I use Pen so you could see it better, but I use pencil and the chalk covers the pencil. Here's one that I penciled in totally and the chalk totally covered it. So here, and this is of course what our sample. What If you'd like to do this, you can do any picture you want. I just kind of arranged this simple one for you. And then you've got in your kit, you have, you, you've got paper that's for chalk and then you've got a sample of a palm tree and I sketched it for you because I thought you can just try it right on here or you can copy my sketch okay so I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with um, the ocean first get that ocean in first okay so let's get this out of the way Here's my paper that's a little bent. There we go. Okay, so um, to start your ocean, you can put in a dark blue, and I don't press really hard, okay? I'll just go like this. Okay. That's the start of my ocean. And then I'm gonna go over it with a lighter shade of blue. You've got in your kit, I believe you've got a dark blue and, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, dark blue and a light blue, which now I can't find mine. It was right here. That's okay, I'll just use, I've got, I've got regular sidewalk chalk with me, I'll use. Hmm. But you've got, I, know, I think you have light blue in yours. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the white right over and blend it, just like I would to make my ocean, to make my water. I'm not gonna blend it totally. I'm gonna see how it, it, I like the darks and the lights, the different values, okay? And then I think I'm gonna put a little green in here. And I know you have a green and a, I think you have a light, light and dark green, but there. And I know you have a white chalk. So let's go put this white in here now. Okay, now, can you see that? So, do you see how I use the side? I don't know if you can see my, there. Okay, now I'm just gonna, I know I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kind of make some waves. Okay. Back in with my dark. I'm using my tip. 
I'm gonna go back in with my side of my chalk again. I'm going back. Let's see, get that blent out with my fingers. So it gives you the effect of the ocean. And when you're working yourself, you can just um, take your time, play with it, practice. Okay, so it kind of looks like an ocean. Um, we can bring up with the corner of the white. That corner, see, can you see that? I'm making little waves. See, right here I did the waves. Okay. And then you're gonna want, I'm gonna put some waves here because they're coming on shore. You know, when you were a kid, you used to run into the foam. Let's get that some shore waves here. Okay. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the sand and you've got a nice yellow for the sand, okay? Um, another thing too is when you're trying, when you're testing out your colors, let's get a piece of paper here. If you wanna see what colors look, how they look, let's say I'm, gonna, I'm doing my sand now. So I'm, I'm putting in the sand color, the yellow, and I thought, ah, I'm gonna try white with that, so. I want to see how that's going to look, how that's going to blend. And then I'm going to take a little orange and I'm going to go back with yellow. So that's a pretty bright sand, but that's okay. So that's how I can tell what my colors are gonna look like. I put them down on a piece of scratch paper. And just start blending. Okay. So now we're gonna do work in our picture. And I'm gonna put down our yellow. I'm using the side, the top side. Can you see how I'm just, just running it over the paper? And I'm not gonna fill it in all the way. Because I wanna leave some openings. I'm gonna put some white in here. On top of it. Doesn't look like much now, but it will in a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna take a little blue and rub and put it here so it shows that the water is coming into the sand. I'm showing, I'm having, I'm letting the yellow, a little bit of the yellow sand show through. Just gently with my, see, I'm just twisting my hand. Can you see that? Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is, I'm going to put the sky in. Let's try that. I'm going to do a light sky. I'm using the side. Okay. And then I'm going to put white on top of that. Get it all. I'm blending it with my chalk. You can use your hand, but I don't know why. I like the, using the chalk. Everybody uses their fingers. I like blending it with the chalk. Can you all see that? It's gonna, whoops, oops, oops. Gotta get my sample up. There we go. Okay. So, Blend, blend, blend with the white on top of the dark. Normally, when we paint together, I always say, put your lights down first for watercolor and the darks on the top. And then acrylics is dark on the bottom and light on the top. But this is dark on the bottom, light on the top. 
Okay. I've tried it the other way and it's never worked out for me, so. Okay, so this is kind of fast and a hot mess, but at least you're getting the idea. So let's put a little, some little clouds in the background. So I'm just using the tip, kind of half of my little nub here, and I'm just going in circles. You probably won't see this once we get in the, so, okay. You can kind of see that. I think you think you can see that, okay. Then I'm gonna go underneath with a darker blue. Just kind of give it a little outline. Okay, so it's kind of working. Putting in a little darker. I, I pressed hard to get a little darker blue and I'm using a light touch to get underneath the cloud, shaping my clouds. So I think you can see the shapes. When you're going across, you can just kind of use your shapes that you come up with. So this is a lighter touch using the corner. Okay, so. See, does that make sense to you? Okay, and the next thing is I'm gonna put in a little more yellow in here. There. Okay. And I think I'm gonna put the umbrellas in next because we can. then we can put the, the leaves of these little uh, plantings behind them. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna make an umbrella here. You should like to sketch that, but just, I'll just try it without sketching. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I just used my uh, pink chalk to sketch it. Now, on this one, I did use, uh, I, I penciled that in. And as, you, as I said before, you can pencil in and you won't be able to see the pencil marks once you start, sketch, start putting your chalk down. So I'm gonna put a little over here of the, I wanna make a little light, put a little light in here too. Gives it a little more depth. So first I'm, I'm using the corner and I'm kind of pressing hard. And you can kind of experiment with the pressure you want to use. With different pressures, you get different looks. Okay, now I'm going to put some white in here just to get, make sure it's highlighted a little. I'm just fascinated how chalk, you can go over it. It's interesting. And I apologize for these shapes, but you'll do better for these umbrellas. Okay, I'm gonna put a little orange in here just to pop it a little bit. And there we go. So I had red and I think you've got red in your kit, so you can use your red. I can't find my red. It got lost when I was setting up. So there, cute little umbrellas. And then just um, pull your little holes down and a couple squares to get your chairs in. And I'm using the, you know, I'm using the very tip of this chalk. Put one over here. You can just pretend like you're under the sun. There. You and your family are hanging out by the beach. There. And this is just little squares of uh, using the tip of your. Okay, so you just 
You see how I did that? I just used the tip. Um, let's see, what color should we make these? I had these orange here, but I think I'm, I don't know, what color do you think we should do? I think I'm gonna do green just for kicks. So I'll put a little green in here and just gently the tip of my chalk, just rub it in. Okay, then I think what I'm gonna do is put a little right under here a little shadow. Okay. See that okay? Good. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the the green growth behind here, the plantings behind here. So I basically did like small fireworks. See, just drew it. When I sketched it, I did it a little differently, but. So see, we're just using, can you see? I'm just using the tip. And then I'm gonna take my lighter green and just fill it in. And we can add more different colors in there. Like I put on this one, I had a little flowers. You see those beautiful flowers on, on the beach and I don't know what they are, but they're really pretty. They're red and they're bright. So we have a little green behind our pink umbrellas. Okay. And it's kind of scumble it in. That means just push push your um, chalk a little, kind of scumbling in it. Okay. And I mean, you can go in and refine, like you can go in and, and make the leaves. I'm just doing this quickly for us. you just feel the sun beating down on us? And I think I might make this a little higher in certain spots. Go back in. Here we go. And if you want, you can just do a little bit of, of, of blending with your fingers. See my, so you should, right now you should have a lot of chalk on it. And I'm gonna, I've got my, don't forget that you always put your paper and rest your hand on there so you don't get chalk on the rest, but you know, by chalk on the rest of your painting. Okay, now, we're gonna do our palm trees. And I gave you a practice sheet to do your palm trees. And here it is. There's your practice sheet. And let's see what we're gonna do here. Your practice sheets. So you've got a lot of there we go. And you see your sketch. And if you want, you can try this one first that I've already sketched for. You can just chalk it in. Whoops. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I usually just take a, a darker color and just make a curve. Now look at how I'm just using my edge. Okay, you see that? I was watching a movie the other night and they had those amazing palm trees. So I thought, oh, I was checking them out for us. Okay, that's not great, but you get the idea. <laughs> I wonder if I should start that over. It's pretty bad. <laughs> 
Let's start it over. I'm doing freehand without sketching, God forbid. Okay, let's try again. And I'm, do, and my, I'm at a weird angle. Just any excuse. To, <laughs> there. Because they're pretty, some of them are thick. I kind of like the thin ones better. There, a little better. And now, I'm gonna use my yellow. And just fill it in a little bit. Let's see, white. Try the white. There. a little better. I'm gonna straighten it out a little. So now just the corner. There. Palm trees uh, are pretty pretty plain. This is pretty Pretty wild, pretty wild colors for, but they're pretty plain. Usually like a gray, not really brown, but a gray. But anyway, ours are colorful. And they have those little marks in them that go around the tree. Okay. So, but you can play with that whole thing. I think I'm gonna put, so with the corner, I'm gonna pull a shadow underneath there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna make fireworks. That's the best way I can tell you how to do it. Just these curve, these fireworks. Can you see that? I'm using, again, the corner, of my chalk. Now, I'm gonna take the lighter shade and I'm gonna pull the little lacy part of the leaves. Sometimes they're on both sides, sometimes one. It just depends on the angle, which, how you're looking at the palm tree. It's, you know, I'm kind of really dragging it. I'm not making them real narrow. I'm using a thicker part of this uh, chalk and I'm pressing really hard. And I know this doesn't look like the colors because they're darker, but I thought it'd be fun to just use color. Okay, can you see that? Normally I would do each individual one, I wouldn't do this, but because we've got, we're limited time. I don't want to keep you. I know you probably want to get into your gardens or get out to the beach and go look at the palm trees. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna make the fringy parts. That's my favorite part. I love doing palm trees. I could do palm trees all day long. See that? Um, okay. Not really blending yet. I like those lacy leaves. I love when they flutter in the wind. It looks so pretty. If you want to put a coconut, you could. I don't think all, you could put one right here probably if you wanted to. Should we do it just for fun, put a coconut? I'm just using the green and I'll go back over that with brown. I 
I like when you go to the islands, they, the men will climb up and take, harvest the coconuts and they'll use their machetes and they'll chop them right in front of you and give you some. Okay. Now I'm gonna use my fingers. I think, now I think I'm gonna use my blending stick and just kind of pull it out some more. See, now it's getting even wispier. And you can use your fingers to do this. Okay, so you've learned all of the little, the beginning rudiments of the, um, of chalk. And it's messy, but fun. And I think uh, as you go along, you can perfect this. I mean, I've used the chalk pencils, which I have better luck with. There we go. There we go. Put a little, I'm just scumbling this, just. So, <clears throat> so now you can just put in your trees and finish your, your little painting, your little chalk drawing. And I thought it was fun. I put in, um, I actually saw this picture someplace. I don't remember where I saw it, but it kind of, it's not exactly the picture, but I kind of used it. And I like the way it graduated. Okay, so now I just use the simple side of it. And I'll use this another side here. And that it goes nicely over the sky. See, it, does, it works fine. Take this white. Mix the two browns together. See how that works? See how I mixed it? I don't know if you can see that. It's not really straight, I apologize, but there. Then go ahead, you learned how to do your, just wisping. Gently, I'm not pushing real hard on this one. See it? It looks messy, but you know what it is at least. There. It's like little windmills. I'm not really, really pressing on this one either. And the harder you press, on the chalk, the stronger the color is. And also, it's a little harder to uh, mix with your other chalks. Okay. sketching this in a little bit more, but you can finish it. You can put in a little more detail and put in your coconuts if you like. Okay. I'll just finish it quickly. Yeah, we've got another few more minutes. I don't, I don't like to keep you too long. I know you've got busy lives. But I thank you so much for taking my class at the through the Elmhurst Park, to Elmhurst Library. Oh gosh, Park just the library. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love teaching their classes. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us, and I hope you enjoy your beach scene, and hope you're on the beach. Thank you. Bye.